Hey, hello friends. In this video, I would show you an example of using a loop in a process without actually using the loop stage. So loop stage is used only with a collection, but there may be sometimes a requirement in which you have to create a loop without actually working on a collection. So let's take an example. I would enter one number, let's say five. Now I want the process to calculate the sum in this way. Five is the uh, higher limit. Now one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So till the higher limit, it should add all the numbers and give me the result in the sum variable or data item. So let me show you how you can use this and create a process using self loop. So I have taken three data items limit. I have given five into it. Second is counter with initial value zero and sum is zero, which is with the data type number. So first of all, to create a self loop, you have to define a condition where the loop will break. Otherwise it will go into an infinite loop. So I have defined here counter less than equal to limit. So once I reach this high limit, the process should end. So counter is the variable with number zero and you would keep on incrementing it till it reaches five. And once it reaches five, the loop will end. So in the yes flow of decision, I have taken one calculation stage and given the expression sum plus counter. So sum plus counter would be stored in the sum variable itself so that every sum is stored in it, the sum data item with each iteration. But along with this, we have to make sure that our counter variable is increased by one Otherwise, you are not increasing it and it, the loop will keep on going forever. So open the catch stage. I've given the expression counter plus one and it's stored in the counter variable. So using anchor stage, you can define a sort of self loop without using loop stage. So let's reset and run this process. So as you see, it's picking the number and increasing the counter and adding the sum in the sum data item. So I give the number as five. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five, it's equal to 15. Let's check with another number. Let me give the limit as 10. Let's click on reset and click on go. So you can see once the counter reaches 11, the loop takes the no path and ends the process. So I hope by now you understood how you can create a self loop and perform any action repeatedly. Thanks for watching.